Are you familiar with Choice School Opportunities in and around Colorado Springs? This is one super unique feature of Colorado and Colorado Springs specifically where you can choose your child, where your child goes to school, regardless of the district you live in. So most places you can't do that. In most states I'm aware of, you can't do that. You basically need to have your kid go to school in the district where your physical address is. Not so much in Colorado Springs. We're gonna talk about that today and some school programs and some unique opportunities surrounding the choice school system in Colorado Springs. Let's check it out. connect with people just like you every day to help them discover where to live and invest in real estate and sell property for top dollar when the time is just right for them. My name is Leif Jacobson. I'm an ex-cop turned realtor, also known as Safe Leif. If you're new to this channel, subscribe so you're first to learn about Colorado real estate. My contact information is below. I'm excited to hear from you. Reach out to me by text, call, or email after this video or book a calendar event and I'll reach out to you, whatever works best. So today we're covering the Choice School Districts here and the Choice Schools system in Colorado Springs. And I'll cover a little history about that. So in 1990, prior to 1990, there was no choice basically of where you attend or your kid attends school. Basically had to attend where your physical address is located. So children were assigned to the closest school or the one that needed enrollment as far as needing more kids but you couldn't choose to go outside of the district is the bottom line. But that's not the case anymore because in 1990, Colorado legislature gave parents the choice to have their children attend in any school in any district in the area. And in 1993, Colorado became the third state to pass the charter schools, allowing more choices for families. Charter schools are amazing. We, my, my family moved here from Washington State, just by Seattle, where I was a police officer for years. And they were super limited as far as school options and program options and type of schools. And we just have found there's amazing opportunities and programs and diverse learning styles in different types of school programs in Colorado Springs. So we'll talk a little bit about those now. We've all heard of different learning styles and we all know, hopefully that's common knowledge now, that there are many different learning styles, including kinesthetic learners like me, like I'm super hands-on, let me, don't just talk about it all day, let me do it, put me in it, let me experience it, I'm very experiential, and that's how I learn things is by engaging with them. So I wish when I was young that I had a school district like the ones in Colorado Springs, a number of districts that have amazing charter schools that are much more hands-on. Some students just don't succeed very well in a traditional classroom where we're just memorizing rote data and regurgitating it on tests. There are many different ways to learn and many different ways of showing that you've learned information rather than just memorization and regurgitation on tests. I'm a strong advocate of that. Non-traditional schools can help students build self-esteem and feelings of competence. It allows them to learn real-world skills versus just kind of the rote test taking like we were talking about. It offers flexibility and study hours and a wider variety of interactions for more suitable to introverted students. There are 17 school districts in El Paso County in and around Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs has many options for non-traditional K through 12 schools, including online schooling, charter schools like we talked about, classical curriculum academies, where two of my kids go, two out of four, and military academies in, in town as well. There's also many homeschool programs that are incredible co-ops and resources for homeschoolers. We'll cover some non-traditional school highlights here. And one of those is the Classical Academy, also known as TCA. It's in District Academy District 20, which is one of the finest school districts in all of Colorado and debatably all of the United States. It is a critically acclaimed school district. It's the largest K through 12 grade brick and mortar schools in Colorado Springs. And it's launched in 1997 with 400 students. TCA currently enrolls 3,500 students on three different campuses in seven different schools. In 2022, the Colorado Department of Education awarded the John Irwin Award for academic excellence to three TCA schools, TCA Elementary, TCA High School, and College Pathways School. So College Pathways, it's also called Running Start. There's a number of other states that call it different things, but basically it's where you get college credit and or community college or associate of arts credits taking college classes in high school. If you can start this early enough in your high school career, you can come out of high school with an associated arts degree to then be able to go right into a university and head into your basically third year of college right out of high school. So a pretty slick program. 
The John Irwin Award for Academic Excellence is given to schools that demonstrate exceptional academic achievement over time. The Classical Academy mission is that it exists to assist parents in their mission to develop exemplary students equipped with analytical thinking skills, virtuous character, and a passion for learning, all built upon a solid foundation for knowledge. The high school rankings, according to the U.S. News and World Report, number 19 in Colorado high schools, number two in Colorado Springs, Colorado Metro Area High Schools, and number one in Academy School District, number 20 in the county of El Paso. And it's 124 in charter schools. The James Irwin Charter Schools, which is District 11, it's the newest elementary school, is opening in D49, known for focusing on exceptional character development in students. It will soon have six schools on four different campuses recognized nationally, statewide, and locally for top test scores, academic excellence, and achievement. It offers college kindergarten, <laughs> giving kids a boost at the start of their career. It offers college preparatory courses as well, super early. Their mission is to help students in the development for their character and academic potential through academically rigorous, content-rich educational programs. The high school rankings are according to the U.S. News and World Report again, number 84 in Colorado high schools, number 12 in Colorado Springs, including Colorado Metro area high schools, number two in Harrison School District, number two in El Paso County high schools, and ranked 407 in charter schools. Next is the Pikes Peak School of Expeditionary Learning. This is one of my favorite schools. I visited there with my children, again, because I'm a kinesthetic learner. I'm a hands-on guy. I'm an experiential guy. And this is kind of like a Montessori school for older kids as far as being super, super flexible, not just listening to hours of lecture a day. It's very experiential. It's super interactive. And the kids are super hands-on with all sorts of stuff. It's actually out in Falcon, which is about 10 or 15 minutes to the east of the northern part of Colorado Springs. So it's District 49 is the school district. It offers K through eight and is a charter school. It's nationally credentialed. It's known for active and hands-on learning as opposed to mostly in the seat learning, quote unquote. The model for the school is project and field work based learning that develops connections between curriculum and real life issues. Promotes active hands-on participation by all learners Classes are capped at 17 students. It's a capped ratio of 17 to 1 student-to-teacher ratio. It's unranked due to not having a high school. The mission is, Pikes Peak School of Expeditionary Learning's mission is to develop motivated, independently thinking individuals who demonstrate strong character, academic achievement, social confidence, and service to the community by utilizing the expeditionary learning model. Aspen Valley is the next one we'll cover, which is also in District 20. It offers 8th through 12th grade as far as the campus. It's a pretty small campus, pretty intimate setting. 180 students so when it's full. Classes are capped at 15 students, so 15 to 1 student to teacher ratio. Each student has a mentor teacher they can meet with daily. Students graduate with a head start to success. Additional graduation requirements are completing one college course, 180 hours of work experience, and 72 hours of community service. Another one we'll cover is Spring Studio for Academic Excellence. This is District 49, so sort of east side of town, offer grades one through 12. It's a hybrid online in-person as far as several different options and combinations of those. It's a great alternative to homeschooling. Students choose to receive instruction in person in a structured classroom or at home based on what works for them. So it's kind of a hybrid that way. Students and parents have more control over time, place, path, or pace of their educational journey. NCAA approved coursework for college-bound athletes, college prep aligned coursework, and free college for qualifying students through the concurrent enrollment program. School boasts a 21,000 square foot state-of-the-art building. It's located in Cimarron Hills near the intersection of Highway 24 and Powers Boulevard. Their mission is to engage students in rigorous, relevant, and personalized digital learning environment that prepares every student for college and career readiness. High school rankings, according to the U.S. News and World Report, 242 as far as Colorado high schools, 34th in Colorado Springs, and 4th in El Paso County, Colorado, District 49 high schools. 
Pikes Peak Early College. This is also in District 49. It's a high school offering grades 9 through 12. It's a hybrid online or in-person student simultaneous learn their high school diploma, industry certification, associate's degree, or up to two years of college credit tuition free. It offers face-to-face -face classes only on Mondays, Wednesday, and Friday. It's an open concept, 21,000 square foot state-of-the-art school. emulates unique feel as far as kind of like a college campus. They partner with several different community colleges and universities around the state to provide individualized degree plans for students. It's NCAA approved coursework for college bound athletes as well. Their mission is to inspire a diverse student population through safe, high quality, blended online college preparatory experiences with low costs, flexibility, and personalized choices. To empower PPEC students to develop their own learning paths and become college and career ready, attaining a two-year degree, professional certification, or transfer credit. The high school rankings there, according to U.S. News & World Report, 175th in Colorado High Schools, 25th in Colorado Springs, and number two in El Paso County, Colorado High School District 49 schools. Little honorable mention for Falcon Homeschool Program, which is also D49. Falcon's where I live, just east of Colorado Springs, which offers in-person learning for homeschool families, including arts and STEM classes, and provides academically engaging friendship building opportunities. It is important to note that school of choice is limited by a school's capacity. It doesn't mean you're automatically guaranteed to get in wherever you want. It depends on if there's room, of course. Some schools operate off of a lottery system as far as getting in, especially TCA. Super, super acclaimed and long waiting lists to get into most TCA schools. Others are on a first come, first serve basis. You should apply immediately due to, during open enrollment, that's for sure, if you have something somewhere specific you wanna go, usually as early as January for the following school year. So you gotta be way on it, way ahead of time. School district transportation may not be available for all schools, so it's important to know if you do choose to go outside of the district where you are, you may need to get your own student there. So that means driving to and from on a daily basis, unless your student really likes to bike long distances, and that gets a little rough in the snow and ice in the wintertime. And a new program this year is free preschool in Colorado. Only a handful of states offer free preschool. UPK is Universal Preschool Program, offering free half day, 15 hours a week, is what the equivalent of that is, preschool. And it's just started in 2023-2024 school year. It applies to both home and school-based preschools. Families can apply and view applicable providers at upk.colorado.gov. There's no deadline to sign up for this program. So there's some interesting things that you may or may not have known about Colorado Springs and the choice in school system uh, kind of set up in and outside of Colorado Springs. So hopefully you learned something that you didn't know. I did as I was researching it myself. I hadn't heard of every one of these programs myself. So we've had incredible experience in Colorado Springs as far as the school districts and the school system here and amazing resources for our kids compared to where we came from in a different area. So it's been awesome for us. I'm excited to be a resource for you. Let me know if you know of a bunch of other programs. I'd love to do a whole other video or two as far as programs that I'm not even aware of. So pitch in here, help me understand what I'm missing because I don't know what I don't know. And that's why my vibe and flavor is for these videos is to share things and resources for you, whether on the real estate side or just living in and around Colorado Springs area. Love to be a resource for you in that way. Shoot a text call or email to me. I'm excited to hear from you. Catch you in the next video.